What's up guys, Jerry Goes Fishing here. Uh, I got a little challenge for you today as the title will probably suggest. Uh, we spun a wheel for our budget. Um, Jay, Big Jay, the man, the myth, the legend. He, uh, he has a budget of $15. So, um, so yeah, Jay's gonna go ahead and pick out $15 worth of lures and then we'll get on to what I spun and go from there. What are your thoughts, Jay? What are you What are you looking at? Definitely gonna do a crankbait. Yeah. Which one? No idea. <laughs> There's a shit ton of varieties. Hey okay, guys, just to be clear, we're only allowed to use what we pick out within our budget. Jay got $15, I got 10. So I'm pretty limited, but I think I've got a plan. What'd you get? Let me see what you got. Got some Ozark Trail. So uh, some kicker, kicker curl pumpkin, huh? Might work, I'm not gonna tell you it won't. Probably gonna need a couple shaky head jigs. Well, you got $15, how much were those? The kicker curl was two bucks. I don't see it. There it is. Two bucks. We'll call it two fifty. So that leaves you with twelve twelve fifty. Now don't forget you're gonna need some uh some hooks and stuff to work that with. Um, the only thing we're not getting is rod rail line. We're uh, we're gonna use our pre existing combos for that. I like that you're going first though. It gives me a minute to kind of shop, see what, see what's, what's available. Especially being that I only got five dollars. Going with a jerk bait, huh? Yep. Four inch jerk bait. Five dollars. Leaves you with what? Seven fifty. Yeah. You got seven dollars and fifty cents left. Did you get yourself some hooks for that? No, no, no. I mean, the package suggests three odd. Is it, let me see. It said three odd. Worm hook or EWG? It just says three odd offset round. So here's that for you, big man. Let's see if I can help you find a three odd. I can't imagine that you're gonna want to jig head for a worm, but I've been wrong before. There you go. Eight three aughts, 236, good old fashioned eagle claw laser sharp. What do you got there? Three sixteenths jigs. It's a one odd hook, but it's ideal bait as a worm. Those are expensive too, 596? They'd leave you with $2, which I mean, at that point could get you another pack of plastics. I don't know, personally, I'd probably do the three aught, and then you could still get another bag of plastics and still run it. Um, oh, although you're going to need tungstens if you're going that route. Well, I guess you don't need tungstens. You just need bullet weights. Six dollars. So that would leave you with only three aught hooks. Or only only uh hooks to use 244 i think that puts you just slightly over budget but i think we'll allow it i think that'll uh so that'll do it for yours right let's give a let's give a rundown of what you got here you got some hooks you got kicker curl worms you got a jerk bait and hooks and tungsten all right i'm gonna give you the phone you're gonna record me now so I have luck out there with my chatterbait and a white fluke trailer. And being that I only have $10 to work with, I don't know. Is he because if I can find it, I was just looking at it. Okay, so I can't see what I was looking at. I'm looking for, I guess it's kind of something like this, but in all white. There's a little diving crappie trail. 
a little bit bigger than this actually would be ideal. And I'm not seeing it. See, what do I got down here? Oh, girl, my knees. Well. We'll see how deep this goes. Looks pretty deep. It's called Bomber Lures. Six dollars. Uh, I have to look at the exact model I have. Anyways. Looks like it dives up to six foot. Don't really want to be fishing six foot of water. Uh, so, hmm. Let's be a little bit. There it is. Cotton Cordell square bill. Five bucks. So that leaves me with five dollars. Right. So see what like hooks and tungstens is gonna take me over that limit. So I guess I should probably just pick a different tank bait out, huh? No, I already moved a little bit over by yet. Uh, no, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna cheat. <clears throat> well, with it raining out. Top water may not be a bad move. Right. It also may not be the move either. I don't know, this bluegill this colored rattle trap. Puts me at my ten dollars. Ooh. See if they have the shiny. Alright. Pick a hand left or right. Left. We'll go it is. Fate has decided. Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and go check out and we will see you at the water. Okay guys. Uh he's just finishing up, he's getting the drip bait tied on. Uh the other three poles are ready to go. We are out here at the spot. The lovely lake that I've been going to. Um figured this was just kind of the per perfect place for the challenge. Um, you know, produces good bass. Um, we are doing 1v1. We'll have one hour. I'll be setting a timer, or he will be setting a timer. Somebody will have a timer for one hour. Just seen a fish jump, too. Um, and the biggest fish wins. Uh, we will be weighing all fish unless we get the a big fish. We weigh it, and we catch a fish that we know isn't going to beat that fish. Then we're probably not going to waste the time weighing it. I'm not going to stop him from doing it if he chooses to do so. But uh, I'll tell you, as soon as he gets that tied on, um, the uh, next bit of footage you'll see will be hooked up to the chest harness and we'll be at the water fishing. All right, see you guys soon. All right, Jay, start that timer. Start that timer and let's get fishing. Shoot. You know what? I'm dumb and forgot to grab the scale. No, go ahead. You might want to get up and head out fishing if you want an advantage. I'm about to wax that, boy. <laughs> Is this pretty now? Yes, sir. Scale's going in my pocket. If you need it, yell for me. You know where to find me. It's not going to be like you lose me. I'm going to leave my whole hacker. I don't know what you said, but okay. I'm going to leave my hacker. You do that. Arms up. Hey, watch your mouth. All right, so I'm going to start with the uh, the white and the black top, the uh, the diver. Watch your step when you come down here. If you break my pole, I'll murder you. Oh, that rain's picking up pretty good. Good cast. 
Oh, I'm already on, boy. I'm off. Lost it immediately. That was a, that was a decent fish, too. Dang it! If only I was good at fishing. Casting out by that tree. What are you throwing? Oh, uh, you're starting off with the worm, huh? Old kicker curl. Can't say that I'm mad at you for it. You started that timer, right? Yeah. Okay. Hitting a bunch of rocks. Any of y'all fish feeling bold right in front of me? Probably not. I think I see a dead shad. You got a fish? Yeah, you do. Sounds like a good one or you just don't have your drag set. Oh, that's a good one. Reel him in, Jay. Oh, he angry. How big is it, you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm on. We're doubled up. Mine feels quite small. Oh, fighting like angry you little pull him up dude he's not a bad fish pick him up he's gonna leave i hope he gets off since you want to take your time jay what are you afraid of oh that's a that's a fatty here get him unhooked dang son Zeroed out. First fish since I've missed two. You need help? Nope. Looks like it. That's a fatty. That's going to be a tough fish to beat. Especially if I keep, you know, losing fish. Stand back over here. You don't want to. Just in case you drop him. Or a fault jumps off of this. Lock it in. No, 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 no. Rude. Locking in at 2.54. Good fish, Jay. Listen. There's your football. Getting a good shot for the camera. Heck yeah, dude. Nice fish. Oh, yeah. Right off the rip. I had a feeling today was going to be a pretty good day. Don't go throwing fish like that. What is wrong with you? <laughs> respect the respect the fish. I don't care if you toss a fish in, but Lord. Well, good start, Jay. You're not making this easy on me. Starting off with a two and a half pounder. certainly is going to make my life extra difficult. Oh. I need something fierce to bite this thing. Like a five pounder. Well, while you spend time fixing your worm. something about fishing in the rain brings the big girls out that could be cash money oh i don't need to get hooked up quick fishing by the grass like that. Yeah, that's why. 
Did you just try and set the hook on something? Oh, okay. Not exactly where I want it to be, but hey, maybe. I think I just lost it. I am down to a lure. Yep. Heck yeah, dude. Solid. Okay, so. Now for the next however long we have left. All I can throw is the rattle trap. So I guess, I hope it catches something. Oh, okay. Really? God, I love treble hooks so much. It's not like they pick everything up. Huh. Oh, really? Oh, oh, we might have saved it. We did not. We might have. No, we didn't. If I get bit on this, I will lose my mind. It, uh, it casts too good, Jay. Must say. That's not ideal. Oh my god. Freaking course. See what's what kind of lure they're fishing with, if possible. Oh man, there's all sorts of different kinds of lures in this, or at least line. I don't see any lures though. Okay. Really? What kind of voodoo magic you play on me, Jason? What kind of voodoo magic you play on me? What is going on? 
going on right now, bro? For real. It's just whack. I'd almost bet that uh, it's safe to say you've won this competition and we're not even 20 minutes in. I've lost the one lure I've gotten a bite on and had nothing but failures with this thing. Caught everything but a fish. How many? 43 minutes left? No, we're not. I've only been recording for for 16. What's the time say on it? Yeah, that's how much time's left. It's counting down, right? Yeah. I mean, like at this point, like if this, if I catch a fish on this thing, it's got to be a good sized fish, which was kind of like the benefit of having two lures, one smaller, just to get on the board, something a little more like appealing to these fish. And this was just in case. having a time. Love to just get cranked. Heck yeah. Let's go ahead and add to the misfortune. Hey Jay, you got like electrical tape? I need it. My uh, my eyelid broke. Yay, there's wet feet. Actually, you got super glue? No, no, obviously. Shoopy poopy? No, it's fine. I'm just gonna replace this rod eventually. I just need that tape. Cause, you know. I still like this rod. Well, I've got super glue at home. Well, you can do that. Grab one of his poles while he's up there. Try and catch a fish with it. 
get it off quickly. Well, he's not paying no attention. Hope to God it's bigger than his. And just let him believe I caught it on the rattle trap. Yeah, if I gotta pull it from the audio, I guess I'll do my best. Well, the duct tape or the the tape didn't work. Okay. So since this, I'm not retying. So I'm gonna cheat. This is my lure now. No. No, it's fine. I'll use this pole. Oh, that cat's nice. Well, the next challenge is to do like a finesse challenge. Finesse only? Okay, any finesse cup you got? Hey, Jay, this just broke off. You didn't tie that very good. Huh? You didn't tie that very good. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't lose it if you'd have tied it good. Tie good. Uh, mm, evidence suggests otherwise because I didn't even have anything. I was just jerking it. I can see it. I'll go see if I can grab it. It's coming in. I also only use one knot and Never lost a jerk bait just jerking it. Hey, the lure I lost the other day. And the lure I lost today. Holy crap. Oh gosh, this is getting sketchy. Oh, there's this one. Ow. Just be back in this, folks. I'm actually glad to have gotten this bluegill lure back. It's a decent lure. Day's not over yet, Jay. Well, I got the lure back that I lost the other day here. <laughs> Bluegill color. Got your jerk bait back for you, so you can keep it. And I got my lure back. So I'm gonna go tie the, my lure back on. I'll put your jerk bait up here if you decide to use it. And uh, I'm gonna put my other bait back. Starting to get desperate. That's a fish. 
That's a fish. Oh. Stay on. Stay on. Get up here. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, it is not bigger than your fish by any means, but it is a fish. Oh, yeah, I love it. Trouble hooks in the fingers oh, from the feisty one. You know, you go ahead and hop down on the ground. Dude, I need you to chill. Just a little baby compared to you. Compared to the one you caught, yes. Like it tore me open too. Oh. I think we got line tangled. Yep. Cool. Essentially, I've accidentally put him on a stringer with my line. And it's just getting worse. Okay. I don't think I've ever had that happen. Okay. Ouch, he's got some, some sharpens. There it is, first fish of the day. Oh, get out of there. Oh yeah, tore me open. Uh, this all untangled. Yeah, he was not happy about being on. On the line. Did you steal my fishing spot? Yep. You dirty, rotten scum. You're in the lead. What do you need my spot for? And? Well, are you? Because uh, I don't see you throwing your finesse pole. It's fine. No, that's cool. You take it. It's it's yours. I only have ten like ten minutes. You want to thirteen? I got thirteen minutes to catch a bigger fish than you caught. How much time's left? Certainly not working with the most time right now. Well, that's not gonna help me any. What'd you do, lose it? Three minutes? Okay. Ha <laughs> ha 
I'm pretty sure that'll do it, Jay. Oh, he's angry. He choked it. Bring me the forceps. Bag, on the side of my bag. Oh God. Yeah, he choked it. He's angry. Yo, dude. Yo, dude. Yo, dude. And I'd say that's the last fish for sure. Oh, don't. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you, little buddy. I got him. He's bleeding. He's bleeding good. That might do it, buddy. That might do it. Get a weight on him real quick, like. I gotta be two and a half, like, on the money, right? Dude! I'm gonna get you back to your home. <sighs> Man, that hurts. That hurts. Is there time left on that clock? No. Okay. Well. Well, guys, you saw it. He doesn't know yet. I think he's got a pretty good inclination. I'm glad that fish done swam away. Hopefully, she stays alive. I'll be there in a minute. You just hush. Uh. But yeah, I'm going to wrap this up, walk over there to him. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in just a minute. We're going to go ahead and shoot the outro with me letting him know that he won. All right, see you guys soon. Okay, guys, so uh, Jay, you won. You beat me by 0.14. Yep, the last fish that I just caught with three minutes left on the clock was a 2.40 on the money. Choked it, bleeding like crazy. But you won, buddy. Good job. Everybody, tell Big J that he can suck a fat one. <laughs> nah, good job, buddy. Yeah, I mean, you, you caught the first one in like the first five minutes. Then you didn't catch anything else. So we should have done a numbers game, but we didn't. I'm just glad we didn't wager anything. For sure. This time. This time, yes. So, all right, everybody. That's going to do it for today's episode. Um, have a good one. Catch you guys next time.